Okay. Make sure I am focused. Oh, hi, everybody. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm going to be doing a whale, like an orca whale, in a fish bowl. I've done a couple of them before, like with Nemo fish, goldfish, and I've done oh, one with some sharks. And they're very small, you know? It's these small bowls, and it's real simple. So my granddaughter, she's seen a couple of mine and said, I would love some. And I said, I'll make you one. What kind of fish do you want? She picked the fish. So <laughs> Sahara, this is for you. And we'll get started. So the resin I'm using for the bottom part will be the epoxy resin from the epoxy resin store. It's a premium clear epoxy. Okay, and you just requires one and one um, by volume. And I do have a coupon code still in my description for it. And it's a good, good coupon code. All right, so here we go. So this is the, uh, the thin. I'm going to pour the thick into the thin. And yes, I can use that cup. No problem. Straight my size real good. Then I'm just going to stir for about four minutes. Good three and a half, four minutes, just like this. And in between, I will scrape my sides real good. And continually scrape my stick. Okay, so... <laughs> I just poured a little in these shells I had, some seashells, one little tiny seashell, a turtle and a pearl, and some glass clear rocks. Now I'm just gonna take this sand, you can take fine sand, any type, coarse sand, this is coarse. I'm gonna pour it in my cup. much because I'm only just doing a little bit just a little bit don't need a lot of the resin to start with pour a little bit in at a time plop it in there that's it I'll take just like one of these. Kind of looks like a coral. And a rope. Gotta drop a rope in there. <laughs> and then some of the of these. I'm gonna throw them around. Little turtle she wanted. And this comes last, of course. I'm gonna put one of these in there. And some blue. These are aquamarine. Let's see. And the little tiny shells all around him. Kind of make it look cool. Just in that area. And some of the bigger. That's it, just design it resin and pour it on top of the things that I just put in there. Okay. No, I'm just going to leave it alone and let that come to get hard. Okay. It's definitely very hard. <laughs> it's like a couple days. Uh, the, the deep pour is what's going to take about 12 hours for it to start setting. And then I can go ahead and get that little whale in there. Um, and 
then of course it'll probably take about another 12 hours for it to completely harden. But I'm just gonna add one little tiny drop of cell ball blue ink alcohol ink, just to color the water a tiny bit. That's it. And this is the deep pour epoxy. It's called floral epoxy from the epoxy resin store also. It requires three in one, one part hardener and three part resin. Okay. So that's about three, four minutes right there. I don't know if I made up enough. So this is pretty much it. So I'll be back. Okay. So this is starting to harden and it's been about 10 hours. I'll take a stick like that's kind of heavy, you know, and then here's the whale. That's almost the whale's a little lighter, of course, but I'll just kind of go like that, let go of it a little, and just see it plunge in. It's not quite ready yet. About 20 minutes later, I can feel it just slight warmth. So don't be afraid to lay your object on top. If it starts to sink, grab something to grab it. <laughs> but you know, that's the only way to tell. But you just really have to keep trying. All right. He's looking good. Top side of the. Now, I'm not going to push him down because, like I said, this may want to start sinking. So I'm going to watch it for about five minutes here. Let me zoom in here, guys. Oh, I've had them lopsided before. <laughs> And he definitely wants to turn, so he's going to have to to just keep turning them back. Eventually, he'll stick. Okay, I want him down more. Okay, so I'm still sitting here. It's been about 10 minutes. He just keeps popping up a little, so I'm gonna push him down. Eventually, he's just gonna get stuck in there. All right, well, I'll push him back down if he keeps floating up here. Okay, so we'll come back as, when it's hard. Well, here we are. Is completely hardened <laughs> and um you know I experienced something different with this whale than I have like any other fish the Nemo and the sharks I've used before this one however just kept rising he just kept on going up so that created more bubbles because I'd keep pushing them down well, let's take a look he's pretty cool though Okay, you can see China. Oh, I was not wanting that. <laughs> That's all good, though. The turtle. Mm -hmm. So there we go. <laughs> 
And I did um, just a couple other. Oh, and with this too, because I had to keep pushing it down, you know, you put the stick in and it just pulls out more resin each and every time. So it actually lowered the level of it more than I intended by far. Because <laughs> I just had to keep pulling out more resin. <laughs> Then this little thing I just kind of created with leftover. It's a cute little fishy thing. Tail. Mm. Mm, this little seashell I just grabbed and I filled it with some resin and put some stuff in there. Oh, some aquamarine and a little amethyst. This one here was actually just kind of unique because I just put some rocks in there. And then in here, the backing was already kind of coming off. But I ended up picking off a little more. So isn't that pretty? The coral. That one. I thought it was cool. And then this one. This one here is just a little tiny shell. With the little shell in it. Mm. And then this one. Mm. I didn't do the backs. I could now. Mm. Some little, um, crushed glass. I put some crushed glass. That's it. So, oh. I forgot about this one here. I lost the little cork that goes to it. I gotta look for it. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So that was a whole lot of fun, and I hope my granddaughter sit here and enjoys it um, as much as I enjoy making them. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit of something I've been up to lately. Get the camera down. We'll go in there. Okay. So then this is a painting I pour painted on. It's a canvas. It's about a 24 by 30. I'm working on it a little bit at a time. <laughs> Slowly but surely. I still have to put some very tiny bit of leaves on the branches. Anyhow. Um, I'll show it to you when I'm done on my next video, if I can remember, but I think overall it turned out okay. <laughs> I do have to fix that tree in the back. I'm not real happy with that. It looks like it's blowing um, forward. It needs to look like it's leaning backwards a little bit. So I'll be fixing that. And yeah, I'm just doing things around my house a whole lot. So we'll go back to the resin piece. Okay, so I don't always get the opportunity to say hello to all of my old subscribers. It's really um, nice to hear from some of you lately. I've been hearing a lot from you. And then also for my new subscribers, thank you for being here and watching. So everybody, stay positive. I will catch you later on my next video, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.